My children, this huh? is a planet called Earth. My time is once again at hand, I'm afraid. Poor dude gets resurrected just to die again, but man. Before I leave this world once more, I wish to explain what has just happened. The battle against that fiend Frieza still continues back on our home planet. Would you look at that? You need to speak the local language in order to make a wish. <laughs> Goku just hit him with the racist card. <laughs> Me and you. Finally, I've been waiting for this. How very curious. It would seem you're willing to pay the ultimate price to settle our conflict. Very well. Oh, and here we go. We're going to finish it finally. Oh, granted, I'm still not great at the combat. I'm really going to give it my all. Oh, okay. Here we go. Come on. Spirit bomb. Come on. Flew right into it as well. Come on. We can, we can do this. I don't know what I got last episode. It was a super finish or something. I really want to land another one of those. I'm, I'm really not sure how I managed to do it though, or whether it's like a specific set of moves has to be executed in a fight. Death ball. Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> oh, follow up. And you hear the button mash there. <laughs> if the UI wasn't in the way, that would so be the thumbnail for this. Man, I love the music in this. Whoever's done the sound design for this game, they've done an amazing job. Honestly, I hope if the devs ever manage to stumble across this video, they do just understand how much I've had fun. And I'm not even really like a huge Dragon Ball fan. I, you know, I watched the older anime um, series with my with my uh, cousins back when it was like broadcast in the UK in Japanese, um, and like. You know, I never really followed it after that, but like the Freezer saga and everything I've watched, it's just um, it's just such an, an amazing, you know, uh, you know, recreation of the series in a video game format, and I think they've done such a perfect job at you know, at it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not doing a perfect job at this fight though. <laughs> I tried to mess around with my mic very quickly. There we go. There we go. I, I don't really have the time to be doing like a proper mic test, but uh. I definitely suffered from uh, from that little mess up there. Definitely not getting the S rank, I can tell you that much. <laughs> oh, okay, he's done the little shout thing to get me back. Oh, he's doing that death ball thing again, right? <laughs> Wait, we can't break this one? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be another one where I had to break it. That's me reading the moment wrong. <laughs> Oh, again, reading the moment wrong. Come on, I can do this. And we finished it with a Kamehameha. In true Goku fashion. I'm done. Done. Oh, there's got to be another part, right? <laughs> it's over. There's no point anymore. I can tell you're afraid. I don't need to defeat you anymore. You dare mock me? I will not lose! Hits him with his own attack, right? Come on. <laughs> the karma hit you. <laughs> I'm not going to fall for it! Goku even tried to save him as well last minute. 
yourself, Frieza. Though I have to admit, I didn't see it ending quite like this. Cuz you saying? Uh... I'm going to make my way back to Earth. You can stay here and suffer the same fate as this planet. I beg you. Please have mercy. Please have mercy. I beg you. The Saiyans probably pleaded the same way and he didn't show it. How can you beg for mercy? How many people begged you for mercy before you slaughtered them? Exactly. But if Goku Goku does leave him, Goku doesn't show mercy. He's just as bad, right? I've given you just a little bit of my energy. That's all you get. You're on your own. Oh, here it comes. You can tell by the music something bad's about to happen. Man, the, the emotion on Goku's face. You know he didn't want to do that deep down. I think that's what really sets Goku aside, is this whole new type of character. He really doesn't want to kill, but like, he will if he has to. But it definitely takes a toll on him, you know? Man. Namek has seen a lot better days. <laughs> Goku was ready to you know, sacrifice himself for this. Goku survived his battle with Frieza. However, planet Nemec had finally reached its limit, exploding in spectacular fashion and leaving Goku nowhere to be found. Back on Earth, Vegeta and the relocated Namekians resolved to stay with Bulma for the time being. Not much time had passed before Grand Elder Guru once again passed away, this time surrounded by his people. With Mori as the new Grand Elder, the Namekian Dragon Balls would be ready in one Namekian year, or 130 days on Earth. Though the Namekian Dragon Balls were only capable of reviving one person per wish, they could revive those that had died multiple times. Upon making their wishes to bring Goku and Krillin back, everyone received some shocking news. Goku ain't dead. Goku was alive, and he was on his way back to Earth. To prevent Krillin from being brought back to life on the now destroyed Namek, his soul was brought back to Earth with the first wish, and then revived with the second. No longer needing to revive Goku, next in line to be brought back was Yamcha, whom everyone was... No way, Vegeta's voice actor also voices Raccoon. Another 130 days and Berta. And Jace. Two of the three wishes had been used That's crazy. The beloved Chaozu and Tien. Then, with the third and final wish, the Namekians were transported to a new planet. Along with their legendary Dragon Balls. New Namek. It's me, Goku! What's that now? You're telling me Frieza's alive? And right now he's making his way to Earth with his father? They're probably gonna do something awful while I'm not there, aren't they? Oh man, that was Dr. Jero in 16. Huh? Who are you? Stay tuned for the next episode. Super Saiyan Vegeta as well. Oh, 18, man. Miss it. 
I think I said Android 16 on the wrong part. <laughs> it's the anticipation for the next episode. Man, and that will be the last time that we look at that loading screen. And it's an amazing one. I've said that nearly every part now. Honestly, I'm I'm lost for words. <laughs> that was an amazing saga to go through. It's really set the bar high. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I can think of even dethroning that will be the Boo saga, and I know that's where this ends. So I've got a long time waiting. Maybe the Cell games. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> New spell of normality without him around you. Yeah? <laughs> a lot of ground during your little excursion to Namek. We've got to get you caught up. Man, Chi Chi with those motherly skills, eh? Uh, but <laughs> I've been studying so much. I don't think I can cram anything else in. Oh, all right then. Fine. You can run outside for a breather, but make sure you don't take too long. Got it? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I'll be back soon. At least she's somewhat reasonable, eh? Yes. Understand? No one knows he's going to sense something. Hi. <laughs> no. Man, I mean, I'm really at a loss for words. That was uh, that was something crazy. That was that whole episode was just fantastic. <laughs> oh, hello, Bulma. Oh, so we can hunt down the Dragon Balls now. Guessing we'll have like a little tutorial thing where we'll have to hunt them down. Okay. And you've collected all seven timing, which wishes can be granted changes throughout the story. Oh yeah, because obviously they'll be used throughout the story. Able to make as many wishes as I want. Uh, Dragon Ball also become temporarily unavailable. 20 minutes of real world time. So I could do that maybe once every episode or between every episode. That'd be something that would be quite interesting. I have heard off of a friend, the same friend who has been streaming this game and will be streaming Doom Eternal when it comes out over on Mixer. His Mixer is DalekDude945. If you haven't checked him out already, I highly recommend it as he's been the one that's been feeding me tidbits of info on how to get better at the damn game. Which, he can only do so much. <laughs> I, I've still got to get there myself. But um, no, he's he's uh, told me that to get all of the community boards, you have to resurrect previous bosses. So that's Nappa, Raditz, and so on. And once you defeat them, that's when you manage to uh, get their community cards. As well as unlocking a certain someone, which is one of my favorite characters from all-time Dragon Ball, Android 21. She's a cute little margin, margin, sorry. <laughs> Which is, um, it's going to be interesting. I don't know whether I'd be able to do that during the story. It made me think I have to go off and do on a side project and, you know, go around. I mean, there's a Dragon Ball up here, really? <laughs> as well as a side fight. I don't want the side fight, but I just want the Dragon Ball. Oh, side fight. Ah, well. Hopefully we can finish this up nice and quick. I mean, I don't want to start the new story um, just yet at the, in this video, as um, we've had a lot going on as it is. It just wouldn't make sense for me to start a new story. I don't really have the time to at the moment. Um, as I said in a previous... I don't think it was a previous episode of this. I think it was um, one of my episodes of Don't Starve. I'm juggling college and a, um, like a, a proper job at the moment between uh, doing this. Um, and that's taking up a lot of my time at the moment, whereas recording this uh, has done. I'm recording this at 12 at night at the moment in the UK, which uh, isn't adequate. Um, it's why episodes end up being so late, is my laptop only takes about half an hour to process the video, but then it comes to actually uploading it to YouTube, and YouTube system, it, it can be a bit funky. Sometimes it'll be like recorded and processed and everything in a matter of 
minutes. <laughs> like I've literally had an hour video uploaded in 50 minutes. And that's amazing. But then I, I've also had times where like a 20 minute video is like just not working. It will it'll take like hours. Like uh, I had a whole, I, I essentially recorded the whole Frieza saga before in a whole episode. It's like an hour and an hour and 40 minutes. It took over 10 hours just to process the video and then it had to render a uh, standard uh, version I think it is so that's like 4 480 or something P max um, which is like sometimes when I publish videos now it will only show up in standard definition which is why some people have said oh you know your channel only uploads in, in low P and I, it, that's not the case it's just you, it just means you're super early which I mean thank thank you <laughs> thank you for being so early <laughs> but no this is um, oh god they're tiny <laughs> So we've got our first Dragon Ball, guys. Well done. <laughs> no, this has been something else. I'm not going to muck around too much. I'm, I was just wanting to get that Dragon Ball because knowing me, I'd... Yeah. <laughs> so we'll do this. Save this person. Oh, well, I mean, we would if I weren't falling in water and stuff. Um, <laughs> now we're going to go save this person. Probably muck around some of the um, training things. Oh, it's the kooky cook. Yeah, we can help her. <laughs> it's just more Cybermen. The blue ones, though, so those are like the powerful ones. Okay. okay. Oh, it's a Kawaii Men. Kawaii Mare Wen or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going to keep trying. <laughs> they hit like a brick, though. <laughs> 16k damage on a claw, nice. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I'm really, I'm, I'm like that. That fight against Freezer there is super saiyan. It's really took it out of me, you know. <laughs> it was just so good. I, I mean, I can't get over how well they executed the super saiyan like awakening and just the whole emotion of that whole scene because you could see it in Goku's like character afterwards. You know, after he had to finish off Freezer, that he just really didn't want to do that. He wanted to leave Frieza alone. He wanted to be different and show mercy where Frieza didn't. And I think that's what makes up a lot of Goku's character is that he, he trusted Frieza the once with walking away and he he used it. He used Goku's weakness against him. And it's something that I, I think affects Goku's character a lot throughout later episodes. I'm probably going to die here. <laughs> I don't have any items, do I? No, I don't. Oh my god. I'm gonna die to the Cyberman. <laughs> I don't even have any key. <laughs> oh, wow. They have. They've got me here. <laughs> oh, man. I'm like, I'm panicking now. One punch off of them and I'm dead. <laughs> Oh yeah, they've killed me. <laughs> it was only a matter of time before I had another death. Oh, I can't believe it was against the side ad. That fight against Freezer, I mean, my heart's still racing. I, I can't really clear my head. It's really taking me back because it's really hard to capture the emotion of of a um, like a movie slash anime slash program. Like, you know, it's hard to capture the emotion that they can set in a playable format. And I think that they've done such an amazing job at doing it in this. You know, a couple of episodes ago I said the only reason this game wouldn't have got a 10 out of 10 from me is the side encounters, which, not not these, these are ones that you opt in for. I was thinking more along the lines of the, um, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the ones where they fly up to you. <laughs> because they were happening like five times a video. They extend the video's length by a good, like, what, half an hour? <laughs> Like, the reason one of my episodes is, like, 40 minutes, someone's like, oh my god, your episodes are too long. If you watch that video, I get a random encounter, like, four times, and it's just not great. But no, that was the only thing that was really stopping me from saying, like, oh, 10 out of 10, amazing game. But no, I, I said in, a, in another episode that if you had the opportunity to get this game, or you were un uncertain about getting this game, um, I 100% recommend just giving it, giving it a shot. I'm happy... Like, nobody's business that I gave it a shot. This game has been phenomenal so far, and there's so much more left coming from it that like, I'm so interested and invested in seeing where this, this goes now. <laughs> Did I dodge that? Oh, no, come on. <laughs> oh, no, we can beat him this time. 
Oh no, dodge, dodge, dodge. No, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, come on. Body blow. <laughs> now meet your sledge. <laughs> now I'm having to focus on the fighting. <laughs> You hear my button spam there. The Masenko just does no damage after playing a Super Saiyan Goku. I want him to go for me, and then me. Oh. That was not a hit, are you crazy? He, pro he, he did self-destruct, right? <laughs> I thought he was going to blow himself up. <laughs> oh no. Come on. Oh no, I was trying to Masenko. Oh yeah, this is something else. <sighs> but no, I mean, this game, phenomenal. Um, I mean, besides these moments where it's like, oh, your character's massively underleveled. I say that, I'm only one one level under. But it's, yeah, it's just that freezer fight. I can't get over that. It, you know, a cutscene as well of all things to be able to portray Goku in such a fashion the the way that the anime does it's it's something that's very rarely done one of my favorite all-time video game series Halo like it's always been great at portraying emotion through uh, vocals alone like the main character don't know whether you guys are all familiar with Halo but Master Chief is the main character in that game wears a helmet through pretty much all of it um, and that's very hard to put emotions through because unlike Goku, whereas in the eyes you could see that just regret and like almost inner hatred towards himself and the thing that he had to do. It, you know, you can't get that with a helmet. <laughs> but um, they've done a good job at portraying emotion through just the way that his spe he speaks. But this game, oh my word, it's on a different scale, man. <laughs> like, here I am comparing it to one of my all-time favorites. <laughs> Another one of my all-time favorites, uh, Gears of War. <laughs> Uh, I'm a big Microsoft fan. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I was brought up with the PlayStation. The only thing that ever stopped me from staying PlayStation was the... Uh, I hate how small the controllers are. Um, but now that they do um, Xbox-style alternatives for PlayStation... See, I was so much more focused. Now, now that hype off of the Freezer fight's coming out, I can actually you know, give my all to a fight. But no, um, it was something else entirely that whole entire encounter with Frieza the whole Namek saga slash Frieza saga was something you know straight out of storybooks <laughs> it was it was it was phenomenal and that alone is enough for me to do like a mid-series review I'd say pick this damn game up <laughs> I'll be trying to do a giveaway of a copy of your choice so the winner get in contact with me um and like they let me know their platform um I'm going to try my hardest to get a giveaway out for the uh, for the last episode of this. And I know that's rather late, but I am going to be trying to up this to two videos a day until I get another series going, which should be Doom Eternal. Um, well, no, it shouldn't be. It's going to be Doom Eternal. But uh, all you have to do to enter that, just like the video. Don't You don't even have to like the video. Forget that part. Just leave a comment on this video, your favorite part of the series so far. And to help build the community standard, my favourite part, I mean, that it should say itself really, just the way that I am, that whole entire section there is Super Saiyan, is something else. <laughs> I've said that like five times in the span of ten minutes, <laughs> and it just really has, it's taken me back. It's very rare a game gets you feeling like this, but it's, uh, it's, really, it's really done something. <laughs> Absolutely. Recommended level 15. Okay, I don't meet the uh, requirements for the Super Masenko. Learn Masenko level 3. So yeah, well, that's what we'll do right now then. <laughs> um, yeah, this this whole thing, it's just been phenomenal. It really has. Coming to this... You know, we're, we're nearly part 20 of this series, and it's been really great pulling everybody that I can through with me up until this point, because it's, it's built quite a community of just this game has alone, and that's... You know, it means a lot to be able to go, like, yeah, you know, you guys stick around through all of this, and I appreciate it, which I do. I appreciate every single person that's managed to get this far in, and I know that I'm still new to it. I know that my audio spiked at multiple times during this. I'm getting there, but the fact that people keep returning to these videos really pushes me on to improve myself. Again, any feedback, anything, the comments are there, use them. You know, even the dislike button, it's there, it's a feature, use it. It helps me improve. If you dislike the video, you leave a comment. Just letting me know, hey, dude, you know, I didn't like it because this could be different. 
And I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to be pissed. I'm just going to say, you know what, fair enough. You were honest. You helped me improve my channel. That means a lot. But that Super Saiyan fight, <laughs> that was something. It really did just, like, hit so many different <laughs> so many different things right. <laughs> so before I do end the video, I'm going to explore this thing just to get Super Masenko. Because, um, again, Dalek Dude, my friend who's been giving me all the advice for this, has essentially been saying, Dude, you've really got to start up leveling your attacks. And I'm like, I know, man, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm just really unorganized. <laughs> oh, come on. Normal Masenko. <laughs> I was just moaning about the Masenko as well. I was like, oh, it does no damage. Having a look at it. I've, I've leveled so many characters' boards, I've actually forgot who I've up-leveled. <laughs> Which is not good. Oh, man. This is really easy. I feel like, I feel like kind of scummy ending the video on this, you know? <laughs> That was a Super Masenko. You see the size? Like, the AoE for that thing? And I can use that as well after I do this fight. Which was a cakewalk. <laughs> there we go. So, Meteor Sledge level 3. I want to learn that. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Man, you know I'm not going to walk away from upgrading Meteor Sledge. It's the one move that I use all the damn time. And people have actually messaged me now saying that. Dude, you rely so much on Meteor Sledge. I know. <laughs> it's the best move on the damn game. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> oh, man. It really is great. I mean, I'm so happy Vegeta has it. And I'm happy that I took my friend's advice on that. Because I was like, what do you mean? Have a look at my super attack palette. He's like, that move that you spam. Vegeta's got it. And you're there complaining you're struggling. And I, oh, okay. <laughs> That's fair enough. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to swap you off a of Super Masenko. It's it's a really fun game, and honestly, I'm a fan of the Final Fantasy style games, and this kind of hits those aspects on, on a very light and toned down way. The community boards, everything, you know, they're kind of Final Fantasy-esque, and, you know, with the, with the characters and party management. Um, and it really is something that I'd recommend you guys play as well if you've never played it, Final Fantasy. There's a fantastic mobile version that carries a similar weight to it, Brave Exvius, one of my favourite mobile games. <laughs> and, that, and that captures like the weight of Final Fantasy in a way, with the, um, with the way that you have to structure your party and you know micromanage everything. This game does it as well. And that was the little side thing I was going to say. You know, this game... It's proven itself on many, many aspects so far. You know, you, you've got exactly what we just went through as Goku. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm still not going to show up about that. It'll be the next episode and I'm still talking about that. But, um, no, after we've done them training sections, I'm going to say, I'm going to call it quits here. Thank you to everybody who's joined me. Um, everybody that's watched this video, you'll understand just how badass of a moment that we just had. Um, there's going to be so much more coming. I mean, you've seen the little trailer for what's coming next in the story, and we see Super Saiyan Vegeta, so spoiler alert, that's coming. But it's been fantastic. This journey so far, we've only done two sagas out of, I think, the five that's on here. I think that's five, maybe four. It, well, yeah, because the next one's the Android saga, then it's the Cell games, then it's the Boo saga, I believe. So we've got three more sagas to go through together. We're averaging like eight videos a saga. This should be done in maybe 40 episodes, whether it's done in more or not, whether I start to do some side elements in like different videos, which would be quite interesting, you know, leave it in the comments. But anyway, you know, I've rambled on for this video, God knows how long now, just about the Super Saiyan fight enough as it is. So I'm going to leave things. Um, we've done some training things, so maybe even do some side videos of them. But uh, no, thank you to everybody that's joined this journey and to everybody that decides to stay for the next couple of parts. It really means the world to me to finally be able to follow a dream and have managed to build up a community of nearly 30 subscribers already. You know, we hit over 250 views was something I was going to say. I think that was in the last episode. And, you know, that's phenomenal. That's something I never would have thought could have happened on a channel that's only hit like 30 days old. <laughs> like... It's it's amazing, you know, the again a little bit of insider knowledge, my impressions, so you know, people who have seen just my video thumbnail play, like uh, when you hover over a thumbnail, hit nearly three thousand the other day. That means three thousand people in this wide open world that we live in know that my channel exists. You know, they know. <laughs> and and that's just it's something that I can't believe. 
Um, and you all have made it possible because, you know, even if I'd never got subscribers the way that I have or views the way I have, I'd still be doing this because, like I said, it, it's not a job. This is a hobby. This is something I'm doing to try and give back to the community and you guys have made it possible. So, as always, take care and hopefully I get to see you in the next episode. Bye.